Today we're gonna to be taking these Notebook LM podcasts to the next level. I wanna show you a six step process that chains together five free AI tools into the ultimate AI workflow. I'm gonna walk you through every step you need to create, edit, add visuals, and release this podcast to the world as a video. And at the end, I'm even gonna show you how to promote it and make sure that it gets viewed. Whether you're trying to promote a business or just wanna express yourself, this is a lightning fast way to create content that's capable of reaching millions. Let's get into it. It all starts at Notebook LM. If you're brand new to Notebook LM, you just go to notebooklm.google and log in using your Gmail or G Suite account. And once you're in there, you just create a new notebook and upload some sources. I have a lot of videos about this. You can upload audio, you can upload YouTube links, documents, interviews, etc. One of my absolute favorite places to find sources for Notebook LM is Perplexity. Perplexity AI, you can search in here and it does a bunch of different Google searches and you can then grab those notes and copy and paste them back into Notebook LM. You add sources here. Now once you've got a good amount of sources loaded in, you just go down here to the bottom right, click on Notebook Guide, and generate the podcast. Give it a couple minutes and it'll generate a great podcast for you. If you don't like the podcast it generates, you can simply delete that podcast and generate it again. But don't forget, we've got this customize feature now where you can tell it exactly what you didn't like with the last version and steer it around a specific topic or audience that you wanna feature in your podcast. Now let's just say you've got a podcast that you're mostly happy with, you can download it here. The next tool I wanna to show you is Descript. This is a very powerful way to create videos, which is how most people are consuming their content. I always got stuck when I tried to create videos until I found this tool and it really helped me get going. There's a free version that you can get a lot done with, but it is the Swiss Army knife of videos, so it is one of the tools that I pay for on a monthly basis. They're not a sponsor of this video, I just love this tool. Once we're inside Descript, I'm just gonna click New Project, I'm gonna click Video Project, and I'm gonna upload that file. But one problem I run into quite a bit is that the file that Notebook LM generates doesn't have the right format at the end of it. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is find that file, wherever it downloaded it, and just add .mp4 after it. All right, now we should be able to upload it into Descript. There you see it can be recognized now, opening that up. And what's really cool here is it can identify these two different speakers. So it's transcribing it. Right now we wanna tell it there's actually two people speaking so it can detect those two different voices. We're gonna click done, give it a second to transcribe. All right, and now that took a couple minutes and it is fully transcribed. I wanna go in here and identify these speakers. This is a good habit to get into and it'll help with editing. The visual effects supervisor for the movie Ed Ulbrich, he said something that really stuck with me. Okay, I'm just gonna name that speaker Notebook LM Mail. I'm gonna go to next. Yeah, even sparking like a renewed interest in nuclear. And that is Notebook LM Female. Now you can see over here in the transcript, it has labeled those appropriately. The next thing I wanna do is find a nice background that we can build up on. And this little stock feature down here is just amazing. This is a huge time saver. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna search for minimal background. And down here in the images, it's got some interesting stuff here. This one's pretty cool, it's just a texture. So I'm just gonna drag that in, drop it in, and we can just pull it to make sure that it fills the whole screen. And you wanna go down here now and look at the timeline. This is the entire podcast, the 11 minutes, and I think that background should be going through the entire timeline. Awesome. The next thing I'm gonna do is add some captions. I think this is a powerful way to start adding these visual elements to this uh, podcast. So the captions button is right down here. This is one I like. You might see it in my videos from time to time. And now when we play it, watch that those captions are automatically in there. Welcome to uh, our deep dive. Yeah, it's all about AI. AI everywhere, right? Okay, so it's probably time that I tell you a little bit about what this podcast in particular is about. Each week I have my assistant, she's a real person, she goes through all of the different news feeds, New York Times, Wall Street Journal, TechCrunch, etc., and pulls all of those resources into a notebook LM and generates a uh, podcast for me that I listen to on Monday to keep up to date with everything that happened that previous week. I do have those podcasts available to anybody who supports me on Patreon, so check out the link in the description if you're interested in that. Now, one incredibly important feature of Descript is that you can edit this podcast by simply editing the words. So if we don't like the fact that this speaker is using uh and oh and some of these pauses, etc., we can just 
delete those words and they are now no longer in the audio. So you can edit the audio and video just like you were editing a Word document. Welcome to our deep dive. You can see he no longer says, oh, right there. I'm gonna keep it in because I think those are pretty natural. But another way to edit is down here. If you don't like the fact that there's some dead space here, you can simply pull this forward and remove that dead space. So there's a lot of different cool ways to edit your audio and video. If you don't like what these podcast hosts are saying, certain pieces of it, you can just chop out sections. You can even recreate the podcast and then start chunking together different sections uh, to make the podcast of your dreams. If you really want to add some things to this podcast, perhaps some things that these hosts missed, you can think about creating that copy inside of ChatGPT or Claude and then uploading that copy into Eleven Labs to create a voiceover that way. From there, you would just upload that audio into Descript the same way we uploaded the original files. And then with a little creative editing, you can weave that new voiceover in so that it blends nicely with the current podcast hosts. We're going to be adding a lot more visuals to this as we move forward, but one of the next things that I like to add is this waveform. This is a waveform representation of the audio, and it just gives our viewers a little something extra to look at as they're watching these videos. Check this out. Welcome to uh, our deep dive. You know, it's all about AI. AI everywhere. Right? And there's a reason I'm adding these first, because as we get into editing it, it's going to be harder to add these. So there is a method to this madness. There's a method to the order that I am adding these different elements. If we don't like the color of that waveform, we can click on it and go in here to the layer, the lines, and change that to whatever color we think is the best color. I'm going to leave it at white though. All right, next we're going to copy and paste this entire transcript and go into our buddy Claude. So I'm just going to click Command A, Command C, and head on over to Claude.ai. If you're not familiar with Claude, it's an AI a lot like ChatGPT. I happen to like it better than ChatGPT for writing and editing workflows, which we're going to be going through now. So I'm pasting that entire transcript in and it shows up as a little document down here. So the first prompt I'm gonna use in here is just asking if there are any places in this podcast that seem wordy. Is there anything we should chop out to keep our listeners' attention? Remember, we can't change anything, we can only trim stuff out. So this prompt can help find anything that we wanna remove, anything that might streamline the podcast, but you can also modify it to take out different subjects uh, or different things that you want to remove from the podcast. We can use Claude to help highlight all of those. It's pulling up this Claude artifact and it's telling us different things that we might want to remove. Take all these recommendations with a grain of salt as I think Notebook LM does a pretty good job of presenting the material. I just wanted to show you how you can use Claude to help you edit these podcasts. So we can go in here and copy this. We can click Control F in here and copy and paste what Claude mentioned we should remove right into here. And then if we wanted to, we could just delete that, highlight it and delete it and go through everything that Claude mentioned and delete these different things. So we're just using Claude as an editor here to help us find different things that we should remove. But remember, use your best judgment with this. Notebook LM does a great job of presenting the material. But if there are subjects that you want to remove, Claude can be very helpful in identifying those in the transcript so that you can quickly dive in and delete them. Claude can be very helpful in this way if you want to ask it more questions about how you might want to restructure the material, etc. You can really use it as an editing collaborator. But the next thing I'm going to add in here is what are the main sections of this podcast? Please list the sections in a snippet of the transcript where each section starts. This will be very helpful for finding the different sections of the video. All right, so you can see now it has identified eight different sections of this video. I'm going to grab this snippet here, part of it. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to find it here. I'm going to click Control F and I'm going to paste it in here so we can find right where that is starting. And I'm going to add this little backslash. The backslash adds a new scene into your Descript project. And I'm going to go ahead and do that for every section that Claude has identified here. All right, now you can see I've got these eight different scenes that align with the eight different sections that Claude has 
selected for us. And now for each scene, I'm gonna add some stock footage. Right down here from our stock photography, this section is called the AI Gold Rush. So I'm just gonna look for Gold Rush images. Again, just by clicking that stock photography, you can come down here, I like this one a lot. I'm gonna add that in. And then I'm gonna add a title to this section as well. In this elements, title. Get that looking good in the effects here. Gonna add a border and a shadow. And then I'm gonna just add a little transition into this scene. So the scene opens with a very basic wipe transition. And let me show you what that looks like. Okay, first up, let's talk about this thing that people are calling the AI gold rush. Because it seems like every big name in tech is like racing to be the top dog in AI. So you go ahead and do that for each section and you can look for more stock photography to add in between each section. Maybe it's not a full video. It might just be an image, etc., about what these folks are talking about. We can even add some audio, whether that's at the beginning or in between each section. Let's look for some banjo music. Since we're going with that gold rush theme, click over here to audio. There we go. Add a little banjo music to our AI gold rush. Let me play this for you. Okay, first up, Let's talk about this thing that people are calling the AI gold rush, because it seems like every big name in tech is like racing to be the top dog in AI. In the free version of Descript, this stock footage feature is fairly limited, and that's one of the major reasons to consider purchasing this powerful tool. But you can always consider creating your own footage using AI tools like Runway ML. Now, before we publish this podcast, we're going to need a cover image to go along with it. We're going to use a tool called ideogram.ai to create that. But before we do that, if you're new to the Blazing Zebra channel, I wanna welcome you and thank you for joining me on my mission of helping whoever I can learn to use these powerful AI tools. My goal is simple. I just wanna create the most useful AI tutorials on the planet. If you're getting something out of these videos, please consider supporting this channel on Patreon. I make a detailed guide for each and every video that I create. These include all of the prompts, all of the resources, all of the step-by-step -step instructions that I go through, and a whole lot more. Anybody who joins my Patreon gets access to not only the cheat sheet to this video, but over a hundred others just like it. There's also some coaching options in there as well. There's a link in the description, so check it out. Here we are in ideogram.ai. This is a great image generation tool for creating images that include text. You can see all of the examples here include text. This is something that Midjourney and the others really fail at. This is a free tool. You can do a lot with it for free. I'm just going to type in here, I need a cover image for a podcast called the AI Gold Rush. And all the podcast platforms prefer this square format, I believe. So you want to click this square format and click generate. It's going to be generating four versions down here. And if you're on the free plan, it's going to take a little bit longer, but it's really not too bad. All right. It has created these four different versions. I kind of like this one. So we'll download that and we'll just drag and drop that into the very beginning of our video here. You can keep it that size or you can do something a little like this to kick off our podcast. Welcome to uh, our deep dive. Yeah, it's all about AI. And remember, you can always use Ideogram to highlight different sections of your video as well and call out specific facts. Now back in Claude, we're gonna need a description and some hashtags before we publish this. Claude is an absolute game changer when it comes to creating this metadata that you need when publishing content. Look at that great description and a bunch of hashtags that you can use when you are publishing it. And when you've got all the imagery and sound and production exactly how you want it, it's very easy to export. All you got to do is click publish, click export, and then I always keep these on as high as possible. And when you click export, it'll drop the video file with all your hard work right on your desktop. Now, if you wanna upload this to YouTube, it's very cut and dry. You just log into your normal YouTube account, click the little plus sign, then you just upload your video, the title and description, just like we created there in Claude. If you are doing YouTube in Ideogram, you definitely want to create a landscape image for your thumbnail and then spend many hours tweaking it like I do. If you wanna get this up onto other podcast platforms, you need to find a podcast host. Some great options are Buzzsprout, Podbean, Transistor, Libsyn, or Spotify for podcasters. 
By uploading your podcast to those, you can create an RSS feed that you can then submit to other podcast directories like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and other different directories. Some of these hosts may do that automatically for you. But creating this video podcast is just the first step. Now we got to get listeners to your podcast. I think the best way to do this is to create some little short snippets that we can upload to Instagram, to YouTube Shorts, and other places. There's a tool called Opus Clip that does this automatically, but I like to have a little bit more control and it's pretty easy back in Descript. So what I like to do is create a copy of this project, duplicate project, open that duplicate, and I'm gonna rename this duplicate the same name as the podcast, short clip number one. Now I'm going back into Claude, I'm going back into that same exact chat string. If you're doing this in different work sessions, which is highly likely, you might want to copy and paste the URL of this chat string so you can get back to it easily. I'm asking what section of this would be best for a short clip? Please provide a snippet of copy for the beginning and ending of one part of this that would make a good standalone short clip. And I'm just going to use this to find the beginning of that clip in Descript. And here it is right here. I'm just going to make this its own scene by doing a backslash at the beginning and the end of where Claude told us to cut this clip. So there's our short clip right there. And I'm going to simply delete everything before and after it. All right. Now we've just got that portion of the podcast here. I'm going to switch this into a portrait for Instagram and TikTok. And we're just going to add an element here. This one's all about Hollywood. Here's some interesting Hollywood footage. I'm going to size that up and I'm going to add those captions back in. Maybe make them a little bigger. And let's add one more little thing here. This little action clip since it's all about Hollywood. We'll add that guy. Boom. You know, even Hollywood is going through an AI revolution. Oh, yeah. And then you can go through and prepare that one just like you prepared the video, export that short clip, and then link all of those back to your main podcast to really get the word out there about your new fancy podcast, all created with Notebook LM. I hope you got something out of this video. Again, I've got a cheat sheet version of this with all of these prompts and a whole lot more that's available to my Patreon supporters. I've got a hundred cheat sheets just like that that are all instantly available to anybody who supports these videos and supports this channel. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe. I've got a ton of fun content on the way and drop me a comment. If there's something I missed, something that you're curious about, let me know what I can help with. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Make my dreams come true.